The Vatican has started its first sex abuse trial into a minor seminary located inside of the city state. Witnesses say they experienced an unhealthy environment within the St. Pius X Seminary. The case involves two priests, one who is charged with abusing an underage seminarian and the other is accused of cover-up. EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn joins us now. Colin, good to see you. Uh, so tell us, what more do you know about this trial? Good evening, Tracy. The St. Pius X Free Seminary is for Vatican altar boys between the ages of 8, 12 and 18. And while it is located inside the Vatican walls, it is run by the Diocese of Como in northern Italy. Now, yesterday, Tracy, a group of these boys who attend the seminary came forward to give their testimonies. They are accusing Father Gabriele Martinelli of sexually abusing or making advances towards younger seminarians. At the time, he was an older seminarian and now is a priest in the Diocese of Como. The rector of the seminarian, Father Enrico Radice, he has been accused of covering up this abuse. Now, these accusations surfaced for the first time in 2017 in Italian media, and since then, both priests have been removed from ministry. However, the witnesses say that higher Vatican officials were told about this abuse and did not take action. This trial continues with the next hearing scheduled to be in March, and the trial falls under Pope Francis's child protection laws. And if found guilty, they could face time in a Vatican jail cell, or else, depending on the length of the sentence, they could be handed over to the Italian authorities. Colum, I also understand making news today there in Italy, the funeral for an Italian ambassador and his bodyguard who were killed earlier this week. What can you tell us about that? That's right, Tracy. The Italian ambassador to the Republic of Congo, Luca Antanasio, and his bodyguard, Vittorio Lacovicie, they were killed on Monday in an attack on a United Nations convoy in an area that is home to a number of rebel groups in Congo. Now, the ambush took place while the convoy was traveling to visit a World Food Program school feeding project. And today, Italy held a state funeral at the Basilica of St. Mary of the Angels in the heart of Rome. The Pope's vicar for Rome, Cardinal Angelo de Donatis, he presided over the funeral, and Italy's new prime minister, Mario Draghi, was also present, along with top lawmakers and representatives of the armed forces. Italy has formally asked the UN for an inquiry into the security, questioning their effectiveness. And what about the Vatican? Has the Vatican made any a statement on this attack? Yes, it has. Tracy, Pope Francis wrote a letter to the Italian president right after the attack, like he normally does when a tragic event like this takes place. He expressed his heartfelt condolences to the ambassador's family and the diplomatic service. The Holy Father also recognized his Christian faith and dedication to building harmonious relationships in the heart of the African country. He closed his letter writing, None of the good accomplished is lost in his hands, even more so when it is confirmed through suffering and through sacrifice. Tracy. Okay, thank you so much, Colin. Colin Flynn, EWTN Newsroom correspondent. Thanks again. Thank you, Tracy.